Hi friends, we decided to talk about differences and comparison of terms used in food safety management system and food desk hope this will helpful to our friends to clarify the meaning of the common terms those are used in food industry. In first episode, today we discuss about PRP, OPRP and CCP. If you are a food safety practitioner you will no doubt have heard of and may possibly even be confused by these terms. PRP defined by ISO as the basic conditions and activities that necessary within the organization and throughout the food chain to maintain food safety. There are a wide variety of PRPs depending on the particular product and process. Examples of PRPs in a food manufacturing environment would be Construction and layout of buildings and associated utilities Layout of premises, including workspace and employee facilities Supplies of air, water, energy and other utilities Supporting services, including waste and sewage disposal the suitability of equipment and its accessibility for cleaning, maintenance and preventative maintenance. Management of purchased materials, supplies, disposals and handling of products. Measures for the prevention of cross-contamination. Cleaning and sanitizing. Pest control. Personnel hygiene. PRPs are usually general to the process and not focused on any particular step in the process. PRPs are procedures, including good manufacturing practices, that address operational conditions providing the foundation for the HACCP system. These are general control measures applicable across all areas of food processing and aimed at maintaining a safe and hygienic environment. They do not control specific hazards or steps in the process. Failure of APRP does not necessarily lead to an immediate and imminent food safety risk. OPRP According to the ISO, control measures or combination of control measures applied to prevent or reduce a significant food safety hazard to an acceptable level and where action creation and measurements or, or observation enable effective control of the process or product. In simply, OPRPs are special types of PRPs. But, unlike regular PRPs, they do control specific hazards and steps in the process. PRPs are not to control specific hazards. They stand throughout the food chain to maintain food safety. OPRPs are essential in reducing the likelihood of a specific hazard occurring. OPRPs require control measures, monitoring procedures, CARs, responsibilities and record. They do not require that critical limits be set. OPRPs are identified through risk assessments. You will need to determine what can be measured and then determine how. They should be treated just like a CCP, but you won't need to define a critical limit. And they may not target a specific source of the hazard but should reduce the likelihood of exposure to the hazard or other contamination sources. Examples of OPRPs in a food manufacturing environment would be Temperature control Sanitation effectiveness, pathogen or allergen. Hand washing and sanitizing monitoring system. Glass or metal control which are not designated as CCP. Filtering process. However the important thing that you need to understand is the above mentioned OPRPS would not exist in your facility and they would be a CCP in your facility, that is depend on the results of risk assessment. CCP The ISO definition is step in the process at which control measures is applied to prevent or reduce a significant food safety hazard to an acceptable level, and defined critical limits and measurements enable the application of occurrence. ICCP differs from a control measure as it relates specifically to a step in the process, and not a general activity or action. If a CCP is unable to apply control, it cannot be considered a CCP. 
According to the FDA, ICCP is a step at which control can be applied and is essential to prevent or eliminate a food safety hazard or reduce it to an acceptable level. Examples A specified heat process, like pasteurization. Refrigeration of pre-cooked foods. CCPs are based on the idea of critical limits, which are thresholds used to determine safe and unsafe conditions. They are considered to have absolute control over the hazard. There are likely to be only a few steps where loss of control will result in the production of a potentially unsafe food. All CCPs require control measures, monitoring procedures, CARs, responsibilities and records. In addition, CCPs require that measurable critical limits be set. Thus now, are you able to imagine the hierarchy of these three terms? Yes, it looks like this. Subscribe our channel and stay tuned with us to learn the about differences and comparison of terms used in food safety management system. Thanks for watching. Food Desk, it's all about food.